Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit in a 2005 Toyota Camry. We'll start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need a clip removal tool. You'll also need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and uh, a, some type of a magnet would also help to get the screws that are in the back so they don't, bef before they drop all the way down, it's better to get them out with a magnet. So we'll start off with using our clip removal tool. We suggest putting some tape over it, but as we did it before, we know we're not gonna scratch it, but we suggest that you do put some tape over any type of clip removal so you don't scratch the panel. And the first panel that we have to remove is this silver trim. It might be different color in your car, but it comes off the same way. And we'll start off from the corner. So we're gonna carefully get the clip removal tool underneath and just uh, pull it out like that. Then we're gonna work our way around. There's only four clips holding it. And uh, I'll show you right now. So there's two on top and there's two on the bottom. And so we started from this clip and we worked our way around it. And we're just gonna rest it at the bottom. You don't have to disconnect it. It's, it's not in any way of interference for us. So the next step is to remove the four screws, actually four bolts underneath the radio with a 10 millimeter socket. And that's why I said you need an extension and you also need a, a magnet to get the bolts in the back out. And so we're gonna go ahead right now and remove these uh, four bolts. So we're just gonna show you how to remove the screws that are in, in the back. So it's already all the way screwed out and we just use the magnet and take it out. It's very simple to do. And before, before we're gonna show you the back of the radio, we'll show you the kit. It's already pre-assembled. I'm gonna plug it in right away. So you have the module in the middle and then you have three cables. So one cable is the one that is gonna go to the back of the radio into the port in the back of the radio <clears throat> and also you have a cable for the iPod and you also have an auxiliary cable uh, these two on the other side of the module so we're gonna remove the radio right now once you take the bolts out screws whatever you want to call them the radio will just come out it's kind of hard to show it here but there is a open port right here and so we're gonna take our kit and with the clip facing down we're gonna plug it in just like that I'm gonna put the radio back so once you connect it uh, before you run the cables anywhere there's a lot of options on this car but we gotta check if everything works so we're gonna take our key and uh, put it into the accessory position. We'll start off with the FM mode. I'm gonna take our iPhone 4 and it's gonna start charging. And to get into the kit mode, you gotta press the disc button. So if you press it one time, it's gonna be regular CD. Once you press it again, it's gonna say CD1. And that's the option you didn't have before. And we'll start off from uh, disc one. This is our hybrid mode. So in this mode, you can switch the songs both from the, uh, from the radio and uh, from the actual iPhone or iPod, whatever you're using. Also, you can use the steering wheel controls. As you can see, I'm switching it from the steering wheel. So the car basically thinks that it has a external CD changer. That's what the port is for. And uh, all the features that you have with your regular CD are exactly the same. Another neat feature that we have is that you can listen to your music by playlist and that's if you switch to disc two and up and right now the iPod gets locked and you can just put it to the side and you fully control it through the radio. So we're gonna go to disc four, which is our third playlist. Disc five is our fourth. 
six is our fifth playlist and you gotta when in this mode you gotta fully control it like I said from the controls you can also if you your if you have a newer Camry you're gonna have a text button but this this car doesn't have it and it would show you the song names when you're in a playlist mode it's not gonna show you the song names when you're disc one but it's gonna show you from disc two and up it's gonna show you the playlist number and the song names make sure your playlists are organized and uh, you can also use the random feature which is like shuffle which is a pretty cool option and uh, that's pretty much it you gotta make sure that it uh, the speakers play I mean the music plays through all the speakers that all the controls wor work like we show in the video and uh, after that you can run the cable for the iPod and there's a lot of options on this car you can uh, from here you can run it to the glove box you, you can just feed it through there we can also run it to the this pocket right here we're gonna show you how to remove it I will start off with opening in the armrest and uh, getting our clip removal tool and we're gonna just get underneath here and lift it up and the whole piece comes off <clears throat> we're gonna get this even if you want you can run the cables all the way to the because now you have access to the armrest so you can run the cables underneath there all the way to this compartment you can run it into this one but this is for cup holders so it's not that good, good of an idea <clears throat> and now we're gonna show you how to remove this piece underneath the radio and for that you need to open this uh, little piece out in order to, s to put the car in neutral or even better to put it all the way down Make sure your parking brake is up and we're not responsible if something happens. Make sure you do this with, with, with safely. So we're gonna press it down. I'm gonna pull it all the way down. And we're gonna take, we're gonna grab this pocket underneath here. Kinda walk, work your way around it. And then it comes off just like that. It comes off on an angle so make sure you remember that and over here in the back you have uh, now access to drilling the hole in this pocket and feeding the wires through there and uh, to put it back you have to put it back on an angle also just like that and that's it it's back in place so it's pretty simple to do make sure you uh, this whole time I was holding my foot on the brake make sure you do the same thing make sure your car doesn't roll and that's uh, that's it that's uh, that was us installing a GTA car kit into 2005 Toyota Camry and uh, hope you like the video and we'll see you next time